Okay, big, big claim in the title of this post that I haven't actually created yet. But it'll be something along the lines of why goals or having goals are keeping you stuck, uh, keep you struggling, keeping you in pain, suffering, something like that. Okay? Hear me out on this one, all right? We've been told that it's good to have goals, good to have targets and and set things to achieve and, and work towards. And while that might work to some degree, okay? While it might work to some degree, there's actually a better way to do things, an easier way to keep yourself motivated, um, to keep your your willpower high. And I'm going to give it to you. Are you ready? Let me try and... In fact, no, let me try at all. Let me set a scene for you. The best footballers in the world. Okay? Best footballers in the world. At the moment, okay? 27th of July, 2020. Could be argued that Lionel Messi is the best footballer in the world. Could be argued that Cristiano Ronaldo is the best footballer in the world. There's, there could be arguments for a few other people as well. I don't really watch too much football these days. But these guys, while they might have a goal to become the best football player in the world. They use this other strategy that ensures that they beat everybody to the top. Everyone else that's got the goal of becoming the best footballer in the world. This is is the reason why Ronaldo and Messi are at the top and everybody are. How many, think how many footballers there are in the world. People play football, right? I have a kick around with friends sometimes. I could be kind of class to someone who plays football think of how many people like men and women around the world there's probably in the billions i reckon it'd be close to billions that actually kick football around so why are these two at the top um i went to watch take that take that arguably one of the biggest bands in the uk Again, possibly around the world, one of those, the most well-known bands around the world. Gary Barlow, very, very famous, being at the the top of his game or near the top of his game for a very long time, whether you like them or not, it doesn't matter. You can't argue with the facts. Why is it when there are, again, probably millions of bands around the world, why is it that Gary Barlow and Take That have, have kind of made it to the top? Or... Regardless of whether you like him or not, and I might get a few people to turn off, but I really do, I want you to stick around so you hit the message. Donald Trump. Like, why out of how many people you know that want to be like president of the United States, why did he end up at, at the top? And you could say, Matt, surely he set the goal of becoming the president of the United States. And yeah, possibly. But so many other people set the goal of becoming president of the United States. So many other people set the goal of becoming the best band in the world. So many people set the goal of becoming the best footballer, the best business person, the best husband, the best wife, to get the best body. Why do so many people fail on their goals? And what can they do? What can you do if you struggle with hitting goals? Oh, maybe that's the title. Here's what you can do if you struggle with hitting goals. Something like that. I was talking to a client this morning. And he runs a business, a couple of million pound business, um, lots of staff. And he was thinking of ways to incentivize them. So he was having a a meeting with a group of 30 people. Uh, Ten ten of the people were really, really high producers, high performers in the business. But these other 20 were not. And he looked at his profit and he was like, right, there's a big pot of money there. And the profit that we could we could distribute a percentage of that to the staff. We could say, hey, there's a, there's a 20K bonus if you do this. There's a 50K bonus if you do that. If you hit that goal, you get that, you get that pot of money. And having been a member of staff who's been incentivized by money and bonuses before, it didn't change my performance at all. Now, it changed one or two people's performance in the company, but... And this was a, a worldwide company. 
but it didn't change mine. It didn't change 98% of the people's performance. So why, what have, what have I done personally? Because I used to set goals. So how is my life infinitely better? My health infinitely better. My mood infinitely better. My connection with the people that I'm connected with, my parenting infinitely better now that I don't set goals at all compared to when I used to have all these goals for my business, for my body, for my relationships, for my parenting. What did I do? What did I change? And this isn't my stuff, by the way. This is something I've learned quite a while ago. I stopped setting goals. Just like Ronaldo. Just like Donald Trump. Just like Take That. Just like whoever you know is at the top of their game. You want to know the secret? The shift that you can make if you want to that's going to help you achieve whatever it is that you want to achieve? Shift from outcome based desires like goals shift from goals to process to the journey shift from trying to get somewhere to being here now listen to anyone who's who's worth their salt at the top of their game a popular phrase you'll hear them say i'm just trying to be the best that i can be in each moment I'm just trying to be the best that I can be. Look at, I was listening to an interview with, I think, Lewis Hamilton not so long ago. And they were like, oh, you're on for breaking Schumacher's record and blah, 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 all these numbers, numbers, numbers. And Lewis is like, I don't, I don't pay any attention to the numbers. I just focus on doing the job now. It's no surprise, again, current day, 23rd of July, it's no surprise that he's leading the championship, that he's won. I don't know how many he's won now, like six, seven, eight out of 10 championships. It's no surprise because he hasn't got the goal of winning championships. He's just focused on the process, the present moment, being the best that he can be now, detaching from the outcome. Because when you focus on just being the best that you can be now, the outcome takes care of itself. So, again, another example. I set the intention to deliver more value and put more value out there. It just so happened that that looks like creating a video a day for 365 days here on YouTube or wherever you're watching this. But my intention was uh, give value, provide value, show up every day. And again, the form that took was do a video every single day on YouTube. Now, when I slip into the old version of Matt, because this is what we do from time to time, we slip into the old version of ourselves. It pops up from uh, somewhere just to kind of surprise us, keeps on our toes. He pops up, right, old version of Matt, and goes, oh, I've got to do a YouTube video today because I said I was going to do a video a day for 365 days, and I can't be bothered to do my video today, and I'm not feeling like it, and I'm just not going to hit that goal, and I'm going to fail again. That old Matt pops up now and again, and I have to go, hey, it's cool that you don't want to do your video today. It's cool that you don't want to do the editing, not that you do much editing. It's cool that you don't want to create these new thumbnails that you're doing with the images and wording on it. It's cool that you don't want to write all the stuff in the um, description box. It's cool that you don't want to go on and share it online. It's cool that you don't want to spend time doing that and you want to do something else. That's fine. We don't need to create a video a day for 365 days. I've just stood on something. Hang on, that really hurts. It's cool. So I have that conversation. I'm like, hey, it's cool if you don't want to do that. That's absolutely fine. We don't need to do a video a day for 365 days. That's fine. Okay, so once I've done that, I give myself permission to not do it, not show up. Old Matt is cool. He's chill. He's like, yay, I get to chill. But then I go, right, what's my intention? What's my focus? What's my commitment? Providing value. Allowing life to work through me, put some value out there. So I go, right, I'm not going to create a video today. Let's use today for an example, right? I'm not going to create a video today. Today, 23rd of July, 2020. I'm not going to create a video today. I'm not going to put it on my YouTube, but what I am going to do is I'm going to put my camera on and I'm going to do the best I can. I'm going to provide some value to the camera. Then what I'm going to do after that, I'm going to just upload it to YouTube. I don't have to share it, then put it out there. I'm just going to upload it to YouTube. And then what I'll do is I'll see it and I'll just write some stuff and write some thing and put value to it. And then I'll probably share it and then I'll probably put it out there and then I'll probably have a video, another video done. And I've kind of gone around the side of my ego, little Matt that's trying to hold back on it. And then again, I accomplished another video. I don't know how many days I've done in a row. It's 
close to three months, four months, every single day I showed up, every single day, because of my intention, not on my bo- because of my goal. When I think I've got to do a video a day for 365 days, what do you think I go through? I go through overwhelm, I go through fear, I go through doubt, doubt, what even is that? I go through doubt, self-doubt, um, insecurities show up. That's usually it. It's usually those four things. Start questioning myself. And I start trying to let myself off the hook. Oh, it doesn't feel right, so I don't do it. And my message is all about doing what feels right and following your heart and soul. But my heart and soul's not in it. My heart and soul isn't in creating 365 videos. It's not in um, going, hey, look, I did a video a day. Look at me. Woohoo, I said what I was going to do and I did what I said. Hey, look at me. Check me out. I did it every single day for a year. Celebration. Woo. No. Because when I think of that, it just it won't happen. So what I get to do is I go, right, what's my intention? What am I focused on doing right now in the present moment? What's the process? And before I know it, I'll have a video a day for 365 days. And I'll be able to look back and go, oh my God, I did a video a day for 365 days. I put out 365 days worth of content, of value. Each video is average between like 10 and 20 minutes. So like 15 minutes is the average. I can't even do the maths on that. 365 times 10 is 3,000. 650 minutes what's three i don't know what it is someone could do the maths on that for me that's a lot of hours of value that i've put out into the world because that's my intention and i detach from hitting that goal of that will i get more subscribers possibly will i get more likes comments shares possibly will i get a bigger following possibly will i make some money possibly but that's not the that's not the goal it's not the driving force. The driving force is the intention to just give value, knowing that the world's going to give me back anyway. Same as with my parenting. My goal isn't to become the best parent in the world and like have my kids go, oh my God, dad, you're a role model. My intention is to be present in the moment with my kids. It's to be love for my kids. Discipline when they need it. Direction when they need it. Leadership when they need it. Unconditional love 24-7. Same as with my clients, same as with my business. I'm not looking to hit a certain number in my business. I've got an idea of how much the next level is for me. I have that idea there. But I'm not like, oh, I'll do anything I can to hit that number and hustle, grind, and get that number. No, 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 no. That number takes care of itself when I focus on the present moment and just being the best that I can be and delivering what I know I can deliver in terms of value. Same as relationships. Do I want to be the best partner, the best husband? Do I want to be the, the best friend? It's an outcome-based goal, and I'm just like, no, I'm just focused on the process and being the best that I can be for me today. So the message is simple. If you're struggling, if you set goals and you struggle to hit them, scratch it. Like, who said, where is it that says that you must have goals? Oh, a few successful people, whatever success looks like to you. Like, a few people have said, like, in, in books or on YouTube now, probably, or on stage, Oh, you need to set goals, write your goals down every day. Blah, blah. And yeah, that does work for some people. But for the majority of people, it doesn't. What I've found that does work for the majority of the people is focus on the process. Focus on being the best that you can be. Tapping into that life that wants to come through you and allowing that to come through you and just being yourself. Being true to who you really, really are. And if you don't know who that is, by the way, I do have a program and a membership called Truth. It's time to discover who you are. Let me know if you want in with that. It basically just brings you home to the truth of who you are, removes all the layers of everything else, all the bullshit out of the way, brings you home to the truth of who you are and allows you to live life in that way. Can be scary and daunting daunting to the ego when you hear that stuff because you're like, well, I know who I am. I am this person in this body, this age, with these letters after my name and this career and this much money and this bank balance and this relationship and this situation. You're none of those things because all of those things can change. And now, now you're like, oh, so who am I? We bring you home to the truth of who you are. And then once you discover the truth of who you are, you come out of the world from that place and everything just gets better and better and better because the truth is bloody awesome. It's better than awesome. In fact, there's no words for it. And then when you come from that place, because again, law of resonance and the law of uh, magnetism, everything, law of vibration, it's just all vibrating on the same level. So when you discover the truth of who you are, which is absolutely incredibly amazing, only things that are absolutely incredible incredible and amazing can vibrate on that level and they match you and that's what you get in your life and you push everything else and everyone else that doesn't resonate with you doesn't vibrate with you out of the way and why wouldn't you want that for yourself you don't need to suffer you don't need to struggle you don't need less than you don't need 
any pain or anything like that. You deserve the best. You can have the best, uh, regardless of your past or present situation or your thoughts in your head or your shadow self or your doubts, your fears, your anxieties. We strip all of that away. We bring you back to the present moment now, the truth of who you are. We get you coming from that place out into the world, just like I'm doing. I've discovered the truth of who I am. I'm coming out into the world from that place. Life just gets better and better and better and better. And it's really easy because I don't have to be something I'm not, which is where most people are falling down. They're trying to be something they're not. Like it doesn't suit me to set goals. It suits me, my truth, to just be in each moment and let life move through me with the intention of service, with the intention of giving, with the intention of receiving on the level that I give at. So again, if I want, if my, my body, my ego wants to receive at a great level, all I do is just give it an even greater level and that's what happens because of the law of karma. It's what you put out is going to come back to you. So if I want more good, all I've got to do is put more good out there. It's literally it. I don't have to earn it. I don't have to become worthy and deserving of it. I already am worthy and deserving of it, just like you are. You are worthy and deserving, whole and complete, perfect. And like I said, worthy and deserving of anything that you want. You've just forgotten that truth. But again, Matt brings you home to that truth with the program, with the membership. Truth, it's time to discover who you are. Let me know, matt at coachmattsmith.com. Send me an email to that if you want either more information or if you just want to get in on the membership on that one. We start uh, Monday, the 3rd of October, August, Monday, the 3rd of August, 2020. If it's past that date, you might still be able to get in. Uh, send me an email i might still be running that if you're watching this in the future that's it for today if goals aren't working for you and you set them and you fail and you beat yourself up because you don't hit your goals stop setting goals focus on the process focus on being the best that you can be in the moment focus on just doing the job at hand whether it's the washing up whether it's building a company whether it's loving your partner whether it's being present for your kids whether it's working out and exercising your body focus on staying present in the moment doing the best that you can in that moment not beating yourself up if you don't do your best but just setting the intention to do your best next time moving from the past remove the past let it go let it all go let it all go let it all go stay in present having the intention to give to serve to receive at levels that you've never given served and received before it's possible for you and i'm here to support you if you want that if not then that's absolutely fine if you want to do it on your own that's fine my kids they always want to go and do stuff on their own and really really old people they like doing stuff on their own all by them i could do it i need to bro i could do it don't i don't want help so if you're a kid or really old and you don't want help, that's absolutely fine. Um, but if you're just an average, normal human being like me, then uh, and you do, that's a complete lie. We're not average, normal human beings. I'm really sorry I've said that. So let's delete and cancel that bit out. If I knew how to edit, I'd chop that out because we're not normal human beings. We're, <laughs> we're so much more. But I reveal that in truth. It's time to discover who you are. Uh, let me know if that is for you. Okay, If you feel called, you feel pulled, let me know. But anyway, stop setting goals if it's not working for you. Focus on being the best that you can be present in the moment. The goals take care of themselves. And in fact, in fact, life is even better than the goals that you'd set for yourself. You're actually limiting yourself by setting goals. That's it. That's all I've got for you today. Thank you very much for watching. I'll speak to you soon.